I recently watched an interview with a strategist giving advice to companies who want to use AI but might be scared to try it. Her advice? Don't be afraid of AI. And she says that one trick you can do to make AI approachable and less scary is to think of it as an intern. It's eager, highly capable, but you need to spend time with it, you need to supervise it. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, isn't the fact that we can look at this as an intern the reason why it's scary? Well, it's not exactly what she meant. I can see the cause for concern. That's why I thought a video showing some ways AI-powered tools are being used in event marketing without replacing humans might be beneficial. These tools I'm about to talk about actually help people do their jobs better and take out some of the drudgery of certain tasks, annoying tasks, like uh, taking notes after a conversation with an attendee in your trade show booth, or marking show floors with tape by hand. Ugh, my knees hurt just thinking about that. We used to do that? I'm sure, uh, no, no. I'm sure there's some kind of like tape stick or something they had to use. Still my back. <laughs> so what is AI? AI stands for, is there really anyone who doesn't know AI? I mean, you're gonna make me say this? Fine. All right. AI stands for artificial ingredients. Okay, artificial intelligence or in C-3PO's case, artificial ignorance. <laughs> By the way, there is a video compilation of all the times C-3PO complains in the Star Wars movies. It is long. It's like every scene. C-3PO is like if we took every Yelp review and put it into a robot. How did we get into this mess? We seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. Okay, off track. What AI essentially does is analyze large data sets and detect patterns. Without AI, a lot of these data sets would be siloed and limit the insights marketers and product developers could use to enhance user experience. AI has actually been used for a few years now before ChatGPT. Spotify and other streaming apps like Netflix use it to find recommended songs for you or movies. So as long as you use it as a tool to enhance the customer experience, you know, keep humans at the center of everything you do, then that's all there is to it. Okay, but aside from recommending content, creating content, or using it to analyze data, how does it apply to event marketing? Which is one of the most human-centric industries. I mean, it's all about inter interacting face-to-face -face with people. So now without further ado, here are some of the really cool AI-powered tools that are shaping the industry for event organizers, exhibitors, and attendees. Number one, August Robotics. August Robotics tackles the time-consuming, back-breaking work of marking booth spaces in the exhibit hall. It's like the Roomba meets the blueprint. The Room Blueprint. And I'm in marketing. Their automated robots roam the exhibit space and precisely mark the correct booth lines using laser-guided technology, saving tons of time and reducing mistakes. With inflation rising, especially in show services in the events industry, more innovations of this kind are welcome. Number two, Backtrack. Backtrack is a powerful booth sales assistant that's making waves. If you've ever used Otter in Teams or Google Meeting to take notes for you during a meeting and then deliver them to your email, it's kind of like that, except also not. It's an app that you can download on your phone that will record a conversation you have with an attendee in your booth. The coolest part is that after you scan their badge, it will send all of the summary notes, not to your email, but straight to your CRM. According to Backtrack, 75% of information collected on the show floor is forgotten in the next 24 hours. Not so anymore. You also don't have to scribble notes on business cards and then transfer them to your CRM. Number three, Grip AI. So if Netflix can recommend movies based on your likes and dislikes, Grip AI does the same for attendees. How do you find the best exhibitors to talk to on the show floor? Grip is an AI matchmaker that will guide you to the most relevant boost based on attendees' preferences and behaviors. The idea is that you can make stronger business connections faster. I mean, if you think about walking into a show floor where there's 4,000 exhibiting companies like at a CES, you're not gonna have time 
to meet every single booth there. But Grip AI allows you to find the most relevant booths for you uh, based on your preferences. Pretty cool. Number four, generative AI. You can't really make a video on AI tools without talking about generative AI. I think these kinds of tools like ChatGPT, Claude, and Jasper are great for marketers and content writers who need to write and schedule social media posts ahead of the event. It's also great for exhibitors trying to find ways to build hype for their presence at the show and bouncing creative ideas off and even finding cool booth designs. We actually break that down in an interview with our Vice President of Design, Mike Graziani, in this video right here. By the way, this entire video was created using AI. That's right. You've been watching an AI version of myself, bad jokes and all, for the last several minutes. Just kidding. We would not do that to you. And Chris might. <laughs> Number five, Exhibit IQ. Now, this is our own exploration into how to use AI to help exhibitors. With Exhibit IQ, we can track, measure, and analyze foot traffic in a booth space. It's helpful from a design perspective to see which elements in a booth attendees spend the most time in and what initially draws their eyes. It's also helpful for event coordinators because it provides another way of reporting on the return of investment from a show. You can now visibly represent impressions, dwell time, and meaningful traffic from your trade show. This means if you're building any multi-touch attribution processes, trying to map the customer journey, trade shows can be included in that map now. Pretty cool. So, if you're interested in exploring these tools further, we've included links to websites and press releases so you can investigate on your own. It's in the description below. Oh, and did I miss something? If so, please let us know in the comments. We're also taking suggestions too. What topic on event marketing do you want us to talk about next? Let us know below. And if you're wondering where to go from here, watch this video on how to measure trade show ROI. We've got seven equations to help you do just that. Till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya. Is that it? That's it. We're done.